Hi everybody. So I wanted to come and make a quick video of me. I wanted to tell you guys the true me, who I really am. So I'm adopted. I was legally adopted when I was born, but before I could go to my adopted family, I had to go in foster care and I was a baby. And luckily my adopted parents knew some nice couple to watch me while I was a baby. I grew up with that couple and I cared and loved them so much, but a lot of people don't know who I am. I am a warrior. I'm a survivor. I'm adopted. I'm disabled. I'm different and I'm proud of it. I have disabilities due to fetal alcohol syndrome. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm an emotional wreck right now. I'm suffering from horrible separation anxiety right now and horrible anxiety. And I'm very emotional right now. So like I was saying is I got my disabilities because I was affected by alcohol. I guess it's called fetal alcohol syndrome and I was affected by it and I'm the only one in my whole family on my real family that was affected by it. My real mom had me when she was 16 after having my sister at 15. My real mom was still in high school when she had me and my sister um, and she decided to put me up for adoption and my two older brothers up for adoption and keep my sister and my two little brothers. I don't get to see my sister. I don't get to see my two little brothers. I don't get to see my older brothers. I don't know where they are. I have really not seen my real mom at all. I saw her two times, that's it. Out of my 29 years of being alive, I haven't really seen her. She never calls me, never texts me, never visits, never sees her grandson, doesn't really care. Um, looks horrible. The last time I saw her, she looked like shit. I don't even know who my real dad is. According to her, I have two dads. I guess one is dead and the other one, I don't know where he is. Never met him. Um, and I don't really care, but I keep having this feeling like, I have a dad out there who really wants to meet me with his wife, but it's just a dream that I have. Um, I'm a college graduate. I finally graduated college with a medical administration assistant degree. I am a mom who has to share 50-50 custody to a nine-year-old and has to deal with an abuser ex-boyfriend that literally beat the crap out of her while she was pregnant and before she even got pregnant and after she got pregnant. I was beat up every single day by my son's dad, who is my ex, who is also my abuser. I am a survivor of domestic abuse. I took getting beat up every single day while pregnant. I... I'm lucky to be alive and not dead because I was almost killed by my ex. I have to deal with him every single time I have to go to an appointment for my child or on transition days. I have 50-50 custody, but it doesn't matter because the courts here don't give a shit. Um, I had two restraining orders. They didn't care. They still allowed my son to be in the care with two restraining orders, which are no longer in effect. My son is now nine years old and he knows what's going on and he literally tells me that he doesn't want to leave me and doesn't want to be with them. I am disabled. I have a disability and I'm proud of it. I have ADHD, dyslexia, a cognitive delay, borderline personality disorder, and somewhat autistic. I don't care if I have disabilities because when you look at me, I look normal but I am disabled. I get treated like I am stupid, retarded, don't know what I'm doing, don't know how to do stuff. 
from my own adopted parents that my adopted parents don't even want to be in the same room with me, don't even want to be around me, don't even want to be with me, and don't care about me, really. They wish I was never born, basically. Um, They treat me like crap. And they care more about my son than me. Um, So when it comes to my disabilities, I treat everybody equal, no matter what. I don't care if I'm disabled or not. I'm proud of who I am. I suffer from horrible anxiety. I suffer from horrible depression. I suffer from horrible separation anxiety. I am, my fears are I'm afraid of the dark. I am afraid of doctors. I'm afraid of dentists. I'm afraid of clowns. I'm afraid of being alone. And I'm afraid of separation. And I'm telling you all this because no matter who you are, you are who you are. You are you. And I'm making this video because a lot of people treat me like I'm just somebody who can be put in a corner or I'm just a ghost. I'm not a ghost. And it hurts me so much that I get treated like it. No one understands what I go through every single day. No one understands that I don't even want to leave my bed or leave my own room. Like literally, I'm sitting in my bed right now in my room because I don't want to leave it. No one understands how tough it is on me every single day. I had one person that I loved and cared about and... I thought she would talk to me every single day and she doesn't anymore. She ignores me and literally doesn't even talk to me that I feel like she's not part of my family anymore. But I have other people who are part of my family and friends that care about me and I care about them and I have a person that I really care about right now and want to help them and I miss them and I love them a lot. I, even though I love this person, I also love my firefighter girl because she is my hero, but she's my family. Even if she is ignoring me, I still love her and I still care about her and I still worry about her because that's what a person does. So be who you are, no matter what. If you are suffering, if you are alone, it's okay. And it's okay to cry, really. Even if you have to cry, it's okay to cry. Because you know crying's good. But don't let people push you around. Alright, bye guys.